down YouTube. I'm gonna do a little review on uh leg maker install on the 2016 Challenger Hellcat. I'm gonna just show y'all the before how it's sounding right now and then uh the after once I install this joint. your flathead screwdriver and figure out what size these are get these taken off everything pretty much self-explanatory pop your clips off right here slide them out get that over there got your flathead screwdriver right here take this whole piece off this on bolt right here I don't have a screw in there on mine but it's on bolt right there it's pretty much a simple install, y'all. So let's get started. Right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these off with the flathead and then uh I'll hook the this sensor already. And then this sensor right here actually uh, once you want to screw it, it goes into the to the uh, the new leg maker. Before I even show y'all anything, this, I'm gonna just come show y'all what came with my leg maker. This actually was a gift from my lady for my birthday. I'm bored, so I'm thirsty, so I'm gonna put this joint on, you know what I'm saying? So this the filter came with. It's the actual leg maker itself. You do have to make sure that you get the one that's for your year, because I bought one before for my old Hellcat and I have to get it fabricated to even fit. So this is for 15 to 16 Hellcat. They changed the sensor. It's uh, on the cold air intake. Got the leg maker plate right here. I think I'm gonna customize mine, probably put some color over it. And I think I wanna get like a mural made of my boy that I lost a couple years ago. I think I wanna get that put on there. So right now I'm just gonna put it on as it is. And then this pretty much right here looks like they gave you all the clamps you need to, to put it on. Like a reducer look like right here. And then uh, I see some clamps in here. So I mean, it ain't really nothing hard to do, man. It's pretty much simple. If you know how to twist a, a screwdriver, you know what I'm saying? And got some common sense, you can put this joint on. So. All right, y'all, so I got the intake on. I think this is, a, I want to say this is the mass airflow sensor. And then uh, it was two t uh, T15s to take it out. And that's what it's going to be to screw it back in. So you, you slide that right in there. This going here. I mean, it's all pretty much self-explanatory. And then uh, what that little sensor at? This little sensor right here, it just slide on the side of this right here. Plug that back up. I mean, ain't really much to it. Then you're gonna grab this air filter up here. And then I'm gonna take that and put it on. I just slide these on right here. 10 mils. You're gonna need a deep, a deep socket to get them on there. I'm just doing it by hand right now, but I'm gonna tighten them up. But once you get these tightened, you gotta adjust them the way you want them, the way you want the intake to be at and make sure it's all, you know, I'm gonna do it about right here. Put this in right there. Turn this, probably turn this a little bit. And I'm gonna put it on. Show y'all what it y'all. So I got everything in nice and snug. Tighten all my T15s up right here. Everything plugged up. So now, one thing I want to say is before you tighten everything up right here with these 10 mils, either you can get a 10 mil wrench or you can get a deep socket 10. But I feel like you probably gonna end up getting that 10 millimeter wrench and tighten it down. 
Make sure everything is smooth right there. Um, before you tighten all that down, make sure that your plate goes on top. Like, sitting in there. You want to sit your plate so you make sure that your intake is down in there enough, deep enough. So now I'm probably going to have to loosen everything up because uh, pretty much the fact that this is supposed to sit on top of your coolant and then you put your boat down in there and it's just supposed to sit right there like just like that. So it is what it is. All I'm going to do is loosen it up and move it down a little bit. And then shit. Let's we'll see what this boy going to do. Oh, this motherfucker whining, bro. I'm talking about I had to get my car some tissue or something, some little Kleenex or something to keep the hell just for the cotton motherfucker whining so much, boy. I'm fucking cry, baby, for real. I fuck with it, though. Definitely, I don't know how much my girl paid for it, but I know them joints go for about four, five hundred bucks. It's definitely uh, worth it. And I feel like it's a little bit more responsive, too, so. Shit. Let y'all check it out, see what it's doing, though. As soon as this light turns green, I got something for y'all, uh, Definitely worth the investment.